Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to another video. This is about the Amiga 500 Mini which arrived today as of the 8th of April 2022 from Retro Games. Now I have looked at the C64 Mini and uh, so I thought I'd look at the Amiga 500 Mini. So let's do it. I haven't unboxed this yet. Um, so I'm going to do it on the camera so you get to see what I see. So yeah, it's cool. it comes in this clear. I pre-ordered, uh, sorry, I pre-ordered this from Argos, and uh, it arrived on the eighth of April, as I said. And uh, yeah, come in this, uh, come in a box, and then it come in this uh, clear packaging, which I'm going to remove now. So let's have a look what we've got. Okay, so here is the Amiga 500 Mini. It comes in this beautiful packaging. As you can see, really nice artwork. Wow, look at that. That is the cutest thing ever. Protection there. And the attention to detail that's gone in this little unit is incredible. So cute. The keyboard's not real, but it looks apart now. We've got some ports on the back. This is serial number 1235, so quite low, I think. 2022 Retro Games. So there it is, absolutely stunning detail. We've got three USB ports, HDMI full-size port, and a USB port, which is Type-C. Floppy drive, but that's not real, of course. And in, also in the box, we've got our quick guide quick start guide um, just some basic information and safety information and quick start there's a full manual online as well now this little s I wouldn't call it a console because it's still on the make I'll call it a computer but it's actually marketed as a console I think um, comes with 25 I believe pre installed games we've got mouse and controller in here as well so here's a mouse now this is a replica a bit smaller but this is a replica of the original Amiga do you remember the tank mouse you also got HDMI cable in there as well so the unit does come with a HDMI cable uh, it's a bit smaller but do you remember this mouse this can also work on a PC and a Mac I believe it's an optical mouse they're not going to replicate the original ball mouse because that's just a pain in the ass Okay, so there it is. Nice long wire on it as well. Now some people will probably think with Amiga you would get a joystick, but no, they've decided to do a uh, controller instead in the style of a CD32 um, pad. There it is. And also in this box we've got a USB Type-C cable. Now one thing to mention about this system is it does not come with a power adapter so you're gonna to have to supply your own but any mo mo almost any mo mobile phone charger should work there it is Amiga 500 the A500 so yeah it's loosely based on the CD32 controller uh, and uh, yeah it feels really well the good buttons are good on it and uh, yeah so there's that I'm really impressed with the design of this thing now. It's absolutely amazing. Let's compare it to my full-size Omega 500. A bit yellowed and a bit grimy. It needs a bit of a cleanup. But yeah, there's my full-size Omega 500, my vintage one. And uh, as you can see, that's the size comparison. So quite a lot smaller. Nice size to fit on your desk. Unlike the original. <laughs> okay. So now we're into the UI. So we've got all these games. Alien Breed, Another World, Arcade Pool, ATR All Terrain Racing, Battle Chess, Cadavia, California Games, The Chaos Engine, Dragon's Breath, F-16 Combat Pilot, Kickoff 2, The Lost Patrol, Power Droid 90, Pinball Dreams, Project X, Quack, The Centiole, Simon the Sorcerer, Speedboard 2, Stunt Car Racer, Super Cars 2, Titus Fox. Let's have a look at one of these unbuilt games. Now this video won't, will not be concentrating on the unbuilt games. This video will be 
concentrating on games I've added myself to see what compatibility is like. But let's have a look. You've got these options here, as you can see. Uh, language display options, etc. You can put a CRT filter on if you want. Um, tell you 60 and 50 hertz and things like that. Basic options. It's lovely to have this Amiga um, running through a HDMI. Okay, so let's have a quick look at Pinball Dreams, one of the uh, inbuilt games. So let's have a look at the Nightmare Table. As you can see, the emulation and the picture is beautiful. It's a bit off screen there, but that's just because of my capture software, it's not the actual system. Okay, so you can use a control pad for this, which is unlike the original. The original would have used a keyboard. So the left and right flippers are done with the shoulder buttons. Now, to install your own games, you're going to need a USB pen drive like this one. Format that as FAT32. Download the uh, A500 WHD Lab package from the uh, link in the description below. Now you need to extract this this to the root of your USB pen drive, and you need to find some compatible LHA compressed WHD Lab games. Once you've done that, you can now choose a USB stick and load ad additional games via USB. So here's Buggy Boy, and as you can see, it plays really nice. These are games I've added. Catch Em, another classic. Plays really good. Really nice music on this one. So as you can see, the emulation quality is really good on this. Now, you might be asking, why not just use a Raspberry Pi? Well, you could do that, and I've done that before. I've got another video on YouTube about PMIGA, etc. But this is just simple plug and play, and it's really quick and fast as well. It loads games pretty much really quickly so here's another classic this is Lotus Free nice music on this one and uh, I think it runs slightly faster than the stock Omega 6 500 Great little fun driving game, and you've got to have Lotus if you've got an Amiga, haven't you? Rainbow Islands, coin up conversion for the Amiga, works flawlessly as well. Now, one thing to mention about this device at current, it doesn't su support ADF floppy disk images, but that's planned in a future firmware update, so don't worry too much about that. But it WHD loud games work perfectly. Now, Super Frog is next. And as you can see, Super Frog also works perfect. So one thing you might be asking is, can you run Workbench and Deluxe Paint and things like that on this? Well, technically, yes, you can, but I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet because it doesn't support ADF images. I suppose what we could try and do is find a WHD load version of Workbench, if one such exists. Here's Lemmings, a classic. This reminds me of the early 90s, coupled with this uh, replica of the Amiga Tank Mess. And yep, yeah, absolute fun game and an absolute must for the Amiga. Chubby Gristle, I originally had this on the ZX Spectrum, but I thought I'll try out. <laughs> That's some fun, funny speech there. Yeah. I originally had this on ZX Spectrum, but I thought I'll try out the Amiga version and it works perfectly fine. CJ's Elephant Antics, another game I originally had on the ZX Spectrum, and uh, yeah, this is the Amiga version here. So as you can see, as you can listen, the music's brilliant and uh, everything's emulated accurately, no slow down or anything. These are games that I just I'll put on myself. Settlers. Facebook friend suggested this one and uh, I don't know how to play it to be honest. I'd have to learn how to play it, but it seems to work perfectly fine. Nice music, medieval style music. 
a game I'm not familiar I mean I am familiar with it but a game I never really played as a kid so I don't really know how to play it looks like some sort of strategic building game one game I used to love as a kid but the ZX Spectrum version I preferred but this is the Amiga version of Fantastic World Dizzy Dizzy Free and it runs beautifully so like I said in the video I was not concentrating on the built-in games because loads of other YouTubers have done that and I thought I'd make it a bit different by uh, concentrating on games that aren't actually included. So, yep, bear that in mind when you buy your Amiga 500 Mini. These games won't be pre-installed that I've shown in this video apart from Pimple Dreams. Thank you very much. I'm going to give the system 10 out of 10. Absolutely beautiful little system. Goodbye.